<laughs> Welcome back to Kirby's Dream Land 2, part 2, whatever, part 2, 2, the 2, 2, part 2, 2. Level 2, 20, 2. Let's do it. Timbuk 2. Yes. Anyway, here we are, level 3, Ripple Field. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. That's also morbid. Anyway. <laughs> Get out of here, Koo. Let's go ahead and do this first stage. This is the last of the uh, opening uh, tutorial stages, I suppose. Because, well, if you can't guess, we just saw our third friend in that little opening sketch. Yeah? That's yeah. that's so strange that... Uh, does that mean Kirby can swim now, or...? Well, <laughs> we'll get there. Ooh. So here's stone ability, and can we go down these slopes? Yes! Oh, can. oh that's yes. so cool. Whee! Oh, and you actually gain momentum, too. Yep. Well... That's what that's what four years of development gives you. Well, I don't know if it's four, but... Four years since Kirby's Dream Land, I mean. Oh, well, fuck stone, I guess. See, it, it always looks like Kirby games are easy to make. And then I look at, like, in between the lines and see all the ingenuity that goes into it and thinking, I could never make this. Yeah, there's there's a lot more to it than just putting stars and blocks in levels. You gotta, like, if you're good at Mario Maker, you'd probably be good at making a Kirby game. So that means yeah. auto Kirby stages, right? Yeah, <laughs> well... Every single stage is an auto stage. Don't even touch the controller, you loser. <laughs> I like the ones where you have to hold right. <laughs> so at least there's some input. Oh! There we go. Woo! Oh, one right. day we will get the full theme song. One day, maybe. This one's hard to do. Again, I think there's a there might be a delay. Because this is an emulated uh, Game Boy thing. Interesting. All right, coming up here to uh, our friend of the day. Right in here. All right, friend. Oh, <laughs> I actually thought Kirby was the enemy because <laughs> the enemy's normally <laughs> on the right. So I was like, "Oh shit, you're fighting yourself." Again, yeah, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not the hero in this one. <laughs> That's one thing you can't do in this game. You can't slide, which I was kind of banking on. Oh, okay. Well, at least oh, this... well, though. Are you getting hurt by the bag? The bag uh, does not actually hurt you. It just oh. knocks you back. Anyway, this is Kine, the ocean sunfish. And this is the most powerful weapon in the game! You shitting me? Obviously he doesn't do well on land, but once you get him into the water... Oh, wow. He can swim past tough currents. Oh, oh cool. He's a button masher's dream if you're in the water. <laughs> anyway, so... the most powerful... Oh, wow. I swear, to, I swear to God, this this ability is so powerful that it makes a return in Kirby's Dream Land 3, and it's nerfed. <laughs> Hard, like, hardcore nerfed, because if you get hit, you can just suck it back in, no problem, and you're back to dealing death everywhere. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of that. A platforming power was nerfed because it was too good. Oh, and this the lights up the place. The whole dark area lights up an area, too, so it about does fucking everything! Jeez! And you're practically invincible as you go along. That thing will never go away. You're, you're always in a constant state of hurt enemy, <laughs> hurt enemy phase or whatever. Oh, that is so cool! And they explode, and <laughs> the explosion goes beyond, so it's, it's, it's gonna hit something. No matter what. It's the best. I never thought Kirby being eaten by a fish would be so powerful, but look at that. Well, if you got enough light bulbs, you can do anything. Oh, well, I, I guess so. Look at this power. So wasteful. <laughs> at least make those energy efficient bulbs, okay? Uh, uh, uh. 
So now we go into the water and we take our new friend with us. <laughs> Just, this imagery is so funny. Is is it the exact same thing in Kirby 3? Uh, pretty much. Uh, he sticks out a light bulb. It lights up dark areas, too. Okay. Thank you. At least they're keeping continuity. But uh, it's nerfed, and when we get there, I'll show you. <laughs> so it only kills ten enemies instead of everything in the world? Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll like, this see. is the God Slayer ability in Kirby. <laughs> Let's let's not worry about how uh, the the uh, immortality of power is taken away from us. Let's worry about it while we still have it. Okay, okay. But we have to leave it for now, unfortunately. Aw, man. I gotta show up some other powers, and, well, in this next room, we kind of need one specific ability. All right, let's see what you got. These eels don't have any abilities, which, which kind of sucks. I really wanted, like, an eel ability. Oh, t turn into an eel and you just slip and slide all over the place? Oh, yeah. This is a stone. This is a rock. <laughs> it's very, very painful for Kine. <laughs> Kirby, you monster! Don't hurt your fish friend! And that's gotta hurt, just scraping along the <laughs> <screen>. <laughs> oh, It takes us to a dark room, and you think, well, we need uh, the light bulb, but uh, not so. Remember, the door is still here. What? Oh. How did you know that? I didn't even see that. Yeah, you, you gotta get a light bulb, but you also need the stone in order to break those blocks. Oh, so you go in there with the light bulb, see that there's a door, come back with... Okay, I get it. Or you read a guide and know about that firsthand. Anyway, oh, you cheater! That's le that's level three's rainbow trap. Hey, Boo. look at that. Woo! All right! Thank cheater. you! Thank you! Thank you, everyone! Thank you! <laughs> okay. I'll let you go on that one just because you're showing me another semi-fun Kirby game. I'm a legitimate charlatan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am indeed human trash. Let's continue with this Kirby Let's Play. <laughs> uh, so, uh, another reason why this isn't quite my favorite Kirby game. This is just a long corridor full of pipes, oh. currents, frogs... That's it. Don't really have anything. So is it? Oh, a drink. Is it because the design's not as tight? I guess. Yeah, it's it's like they got a B team working on this because uh, I think the year after Kirby, uh, Kirby, Kirby <laughs> Superstar came out, and uh, Kirby Superstar blows every other Kirby game before it out of the water. Hmm. Okay. Is that good? Like, it's so good, the reason why Kirby's Dream Land 3 didn't do good, because it wasn't like Kirby Superstar. Oh, seriously? Seriously. Wow. Anyway, let's go to the bus. Still got Kine, so it should be easy. What the hell? I forget what his name, I just call him the Anglerfish. No, that'll work. That's, that's what he is. He looks like he's in constant agony. <laughs> He's seen some shit. That is the face of a fish that's seen some shit. It's almost like he isn't the real enemy. It's uh, that bulb that's attached to him, and it's, like, lodged himself into his brain, and so his <laughs> actions are not his own. So every every waking moment is just agony and just a drill right into his cerebral cortex, but he can't be... Oh, there I killed him. I did, I did him a favor. I yeah, exactly. It's like the light was a parasite. It's forcing him to do everything. Like, please, stop him! Oh, God! Isn't there a fungus that does that to animals, like ants? Like, it takes Insects, over their brain? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, you think that'd be the end for today, and uh, we'll save level four for next time, but uh, we're not quite done with this level. Really? Okay, because we go back to the boss arena. What? Whoa. It's a little mini game. I guess they've forgiven me for uh, killing them, so now they're just gonna play a little mini game with us. Oh, cool! Get all the stars and don't get hit. If you get hit once, it's over. Huh. And I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't required for 100%. Oh, really? Uh huh. So that's what you meant by weird? Yes, weird. You gotta not only get all the rainbow drops, but you also gotta get a perfect on all of these bonus chances. Oh, that it is means, weird. It just means getting all the stars and not getting hit. 
Not, not too taxing, but, you know, just... Hmm. It, it can get a little frustrating sometimes. Oh, is that it? We did it! Yeah! Good job! Woohoo! Alright, that's level one taken care of. Let's uh, see if we can do anything in level two. Yeah, yeah, big forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what this guy is going to do. He's just like, oh, well, Kirby, you got me. Let's play a little fun game. I made more children. More star children. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. oh, you done suck. So if you lose, you're locked out. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll come back to that and uh, we'll see if we can do anything with level three here. We should have brought the fish. Yeah, you, you should have brought... You said Kine was his name? Yes. Well, well, I think we can do this. Maybe it's just easier with, with the Kine, but we can still do this. Let's see. Mm, uh, that's it, a lot of Gordos. And, uh, all right. And, okay. Up and, oh, uh, oh, 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 come on. no. Oh, man. Oh, locked out. So what now, right? Let's head back to stage one here. And we'll go ahead and hop in world one. Why the hell not? And we'll go ahead and complete world one while we're at it. What are you planning? And this is the easiest one. This is the shortest one. Has the fewest uh, problems with it. Uh, let's make a funny noise. Hooray. Hmm. That reopens all the boss doors, so you get another chance. Oh, okay, so you, is, you just have to beat a level. You just gotta beat any level, and the doors reopen, so you can take a second chance. So here we go! Now don't screw it up. I will try. It, it, kill the children, if you need to do that. Oh, oh my god! Fuck. Oh, ah. failure! Kirby, oh. failure. Oh. Oh. That's gotta hurt. All right, all right. Maybe these two do help with friends. So, uh... That's the message go. that Kirby is trying to tell you. You need friends in order to succeed. That's what Persona's taught me. I didn't need friends to beat up a tree. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a fucking tree. It's not doing much. I stole his conpeto that he spit out back at me. <laughs> and plus, he was sick. He was Wheezy Woods, and you, you <laughs> attacked him. How could you? Anyway, spark ability. Kine. <laughs> we can leave. Ultimate domination. Let's go. All right, here we go. This has got to be the one, right? It's got to be the one. Mm-hmm, sure. I'll believe it the, when we, I see it. I mean, we got the light bulb of ultimate ability. I think we'll be all right. Okay. Then, uh, uh, uh. God, this reminds me of a minigame in Spyro 3 that was agonizing. Uh, oh, go down. Uh, there we go. I'm glad your hitbox isn't ginormous, otherwise this would be a nightmare. I think it is bigger, but not that big. There you go. Hey, that's it. That's the way. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> <laughs> Victory explosion. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Spontaneous combustion. <laughs> All right, time to get that Boyd. That's, uh, that would be, uh, cool. That would be so weird. Just imagine if you're a denizen of Dreamland, walking around and all of a sudden there's a fish scooting on the ground. <laughs> With Kirby inside, it's just like, oh, I didn't expect that. see that today. That's, uh, what is, uh, that's, uh, strange. Anyway, clear another stage. The second door is open. Let's do the bonus chance one more, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. Only once more. Three strikes, you're out. Exactly. Third time is the charm. Three stages, three chances. Oh. oh gotta get that one. Uh, there. Well, that formation was piss easy that time. That was it. That was it. Good job. All right. So, uh, we're all caught up, I guess. Nice. 
Next time on Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection, we're moving on to this next area. Level 4, Kirby's Dream Land 2. Ooh. See you next time. Uh -huh.